The Oregon measuring tool, number 556418, is designed to help dealers quickly measure chain pitch, chain gauge, bar groove, and file size depending on what your customers may bring in. The measuring tool has standard units on one side and metric units on the other. The measuring tool can be purchased individually or as part of the Oregon Professional Maintenance Kit, which also includes a file guide, a flat file, and depth gauge tools. Now let's take a look at the measuring tool and what it does. This tool can measure chain pitch, the four most popular chain pitches, quarter, 325, 3 8 and 404. Let's say your customer comes in with a chain and he doesn't know what it is and you happen to have one of our tools on your counter. You can take the tool, place the pitch measuring sections across the chain and if you happen to have the cutouts align correctly with the right pitch, the center, the rivets should align in the center of that section. In this case, for 325, you can see that it does on one, but does not on the other. So we'll turn, turn it around and try, and try again. And you see in this particular instance, with the 3 8 pitch measuring section, that the rivets line up in the center of the cutouts. So now you know that this chain is a 3 8 pitch chain. That will work similarly as well on the larger pitch chains too. So again, your customer comes in and brings you a loop of chain that they don't know how to identify. So you place this handy tool over the chain and check for the rivets. In this case, you can see that neither of those rivets line up correctly with that section for the pitch measurement. So you move to another section and try again. And here you can see in the 404 section, you have a rivet in the center and a rivet in the center. So now you know that this particular chain type is a 404 pitch chain. Now let's, check, let's talk about chain gauge. This tool will also help you identify the four most common handheld chain gauges from 43 thousandths all the way up to 63 thousandths. Take your chain, pull up one drive link, place it through the slots to measure the gauge of the chain, and if it's loose and wiggles around, you know that that particular hole is too large for this chain type. So you need to make an adjustment at the tool and place it in another slot to find out if that's the gauge. And then in this case, it's nice and firm and tight at the 50. So now you know this particular chain type is 3 8 pitch and 50 gauge chain. Now let's see how to use this tool for measuring the gauge of the bar. Your customer brings in a bar that they can identify and on this tool, on each corner of the tab, it, it measures from 43 thousandths all the way up to 63 thousandths. So you would take your tool, put it in the bar groove, and if it's nice and firm and, and tight, you know you have the right groove. And in this case, it's 50 thousandths. And as I mentioned with the chain, this, this product will work equally as well with the larger professional bars as it does with the consumers. Again, put the tab in the groove, and if there's lots of extra space, you know that's not the right one. Work around, the, work around the tool until you find the one that fits in nice and firm, and then you'll know what gauge you have. And in this case, it's 63. Now let's talk about files. <clears throat> this tool can be used to identify file sizes as well, ranging from 8th inch all the way up to 7 seconds. So if your customer brings in a file, and they don't know what size it is, you take their file, put it through the hole, and if it's not firm and nice contoured fit, you know that's not the right size, so you try another one. And there we have a nice firm, nice contact with the file guide, and you read the numbers and it's a 3 16 file. So now you know the file size. We hope you found this informative and a useful economical tool to put on your counters and have at your dealerships to identify chain bars and files.